Around Greater Victoria, it is known as the A word, amalgamation. And the mayor of Victoria wants it put to a non binding referendum. Dean Fortin says city taxpayers are carrying the load, even though they have a lower average income for the region, and they are shouldering the burden for policing and other services for the entire capital area. The city is looking at the benefits of amalgamation elsewhere, such as in Winnipeg. And news reporter Steve Andrew, uh, Stephen Andrew has our top story. Victoria Police investigate a sudden death this morning in Esquimalt. Victoria has been providing policing services for Esquimalt since 2003, when the province ordered the two departments to amalgamate. Esquimalt isn't happy with the financial fallout from the deal. The municipality is responsible for 14% of the overall policing budget. The issue came to a head last year when Esquimalt was forced to pay its share of a $400,000 increase in the budget. But the province doesn't see the two offices stationed here at the Rock Bay Landing Emergency Homeless Shelter as essential. So it's ruled the scramble doesn't have to pay for those. But Victoria sees them as serving the entire region. So we need our municipal police forces working together. And the best way to do that is through a regional force. Fortin wants to go even further, settling the amalgamation issue once and for all with a non-binding referendum throughout Greater Victoria. Fortin says Victoria's city manager is studying the issue of the city paying for services provided for the region. You know, she is from Winnipeg and she, has, she came in, she's been now, I guess, a year, year and a half with us. Uh, that, that's the first thing that struck her, coming from an amalgamated region. She said, wow, what is Victoria uh, looking at? So she's asked for this report to, to come forward, investigate, to see what really are the costs to our citizens. This Victoria resident also wants to see a discussion on amalgamation. Over the past two months, he's assembled a list of 200 names supporting the move. My hope would be that people in Oak Bay um, or Saanich would be explaining why it makes sense for their model of the municipality to continue as it is, or have people running for council saying, look, it, I am from Saanich, but I do want to see better governance for the whole region. I want to see something that makes more sense for all of us. Ultimately, everyone agrees the decision to amalgamate or not will be up to the voters. But the first step will be getting the 14 Greater Victoria mayors and councillors to allow the vote. That is highly unlikely in time for the municipal election this November. Stephen Andrew joins us now with more. Stephen, of course, unless the province mandates this, it probably won't happen. And over the weekend, uh, Liberal leadership candidate Mike DeYoung says it's up to the region itself to fix policing. Uh, what was the mayor's reaction to that? Well, he called it straight out. He, Hudson, he said it's a cop-out. He said, you know, the regional mayors and councillors are elected to advocate and govern for their region, and that's exactly what they're going to do. And they're going to protect, obviously, the resources uh, that they currently have within those municipalities. And that probably is the fear that's going to happen tonight when Esquimalt looks over the budget for this year for policing in Victoria and Esquimalt. Nobody from the city of Victoria or the Victoria Police Department would talk to that. They want to wait and see what happens tonight. And then they say they'll comment on it tomorrow, Hudson. All right, we'll be on the story. Stephen, thank you. You're welcome. Stephen Andrew reporting.